Chelsea. What day of the week was I uh, born? If I was born on the 10th of March, 1940. Sunday. That's what my mother tells me anyway, <laughs> so I guess it's right. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. That's wonderful. Thank so you. My birthday. Yes. Um, May 6th, 1972. 1972, Saturday. That's right. Right? Thank you. What about you, I guess, you know? Um, okay, how about uh, September 6th, 1969? Saturday. That's right. Right. Thank you. What about I mean, let's go to you now, right now, Samin. Okay. Here's a fairly messy question. Okay, uh, Me that sounds messy, or that, that looks messy, all right, there. 654-3216, the cube root of this number, multiplied by the fourth root of 389-456, divided by this, is it? Yes. Divide. Yes, yes. Oh, you forgot to put this. Yes, See? You're right. Ah, yes, you're right. That's that could it. land yeah, me in a mess it. now. Right. <laughs> no? Okay. okay. Now, 654-3216, cube root of this number, multiplied by the fourth root of 389-456, whole thing divided by the square root of... Four nine four five six four six. Right. Six places of this. Okay, I only have it to two. I'll give you six. six. Okay, yeah. I can verify. Four point. Correct? So eight. Far. Right? Right. Four point eight. Four five places more? Zero 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 zero. <laughs> right. Okay. That was just a right. funny zero. Oh, you wanted wonderful, only wonderful. Zero. Right. Shall I start? Why okay. don't you do that? Okay. We'd rather start with the head of the department for mathematics. Right, okay, <laughs> yes. Now, um, I wonder if you'd like to have a go at this one. Um, 3T1, 373, 3T1, This is the question. Would you put the root over sign yeah. so that I know it's a root? Yeah, yeah. no, put a 3 there, please. Huh. Mm -hmm. The answer to this number, 692. Yes, that's correct. Is that correct? correct? Yes. Oh, Thank you. That is Thank wonderful. you very much. <laughs> 692. That's the answer. Yeah. Okay? That's, that's great. Amazing. Thank you. It's amazing. Now, yes. I have another question. Well, oh, yes, I've got, uh, I've, got a I've got another one here. Um, how about finding the value of 7 to the power of 7? 7 raised to the power of 7? Yes. Please. Yes. 7 raised to the power of 7. Uh, yes, I got the answer. Uh, please see. The answer is 8. Please write down. Please write down. Eight, two, three, five, four, three. This is the answer. Would you like me to do it step by step for you? Well, no. You I got think a computer. You, no, I'm going to do it step by step. You got a computer with you. Let's see. Let's race against it. Come on. Come All on right. now. Well, I don't, Eight, know, seven I don't know whether I can press oh. my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's see how no, quickly you can press it. <laughs> seven multiplied by seven is equal to 49. Right. 49 multiplied by seven is equal to 343. Whoa. 343 <laughs> multiplied by seven is equal to 2401. 2401 multiplied by 49 is equal to 1176. One, Four nine. That's correct. Right. That's one one seven six four nine multiplied by seven is equal to eight two three five four three. My That's God! Right. Okay. Incredible. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. That's fantastic. Calculator needs a new battery. Yes. That's wonderful. So next one's a bit more complicated, and it's to do with um, buying items and selling them and making profit. Uh, will, will that be all right? <laughs> no problem. But w with explain money? it to me clearly. Okay. And let uh, Bart write it. Yes. Okay. I'll tell. I'll say it slowly. First yes. of all. A man buys items yeah, man. 83 for 23 cents. 83 for? 83, no, 83. For, for, okay, I got it. Doesn't for, matter. If yes. It, yeah, you okay. write it. He that buys, doesn't mean you should buy it. He buys, he buys, uh -huh. but buys there. 83 for, buys, 83 uh, for. For, F-O-R, yeah. yes. For, F-O-R. F-O-R. Oh, yeah, okay. for our, yeah, for our, for, uh, yeah. For 23 uh, cents. 23 cents, okay, yes. 23 uh, cents. Yes. And he uh. sells them. Mm-hmm. For? At 131. 131. For 37 cents. For 37 cents. Yeah. Now, these numbers are a bit nasty. No, I, don't worry. Be right? nasty. Okay. Come on, be nasty. <laughs> and he makes a profit of $13. Yeah. And thirty-four cents. Yes. Thirteen dollars. And thirty-four cents. Right. Uh -huh. Now I'd like you to tell me how many items did he sell? It's a big number. Two. Five. Zero. Zero. Seven nine. Correct. That's absolutely right. Thank That's you. Absolutely right. Right. What is that yes. again? 
Uh, 25,000... Uh, 250,079. And I'm, I might say I deliberately rigged that, and so you can't... There's no simple way of, uh, of making it more simple. You just have to do the arithmetic. You, that, the numbers there are all as nasty as I could think of. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, but... <laughs> Incredible. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the next one. What about, uh, you know, let's uh, have Christopher. You know, you had some interesting questions right. from what I understand. You know, you were, I saw you in the hallway. You were all bubbly and excited about this whole thing. Christopher, you know, let's come out with your question. Okay, this is quite a complex one. So I've got it. the answer written down. Thank you. This here. Right. You. you haven't got the answer there, I think. No, I have it here. Good. Okay. All right. 118 machines. 118 machines? Yes. yes. Can produce 73 items. Yes. Uh -huh. In seven and a half days. I see. Yeah, this is before free trade, by the right. way. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How many items can 217 machines produce in 11 and three quarter days? 11 and three quarter days. Uh huh. 210. That's right. Right? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Okay. Are you uh, are you impressed by that uh, by any chance, uh, Christopher? Yes, I don't think half my class could get that even with calculators. <laughs> limited time. It's Thank you. Quite incredible. I asked, tell me, you have any questions for Shakuntala Devi? Um, well, I had a couple of questions to ask her. Um, two of them are well, one is a mathematics multiplication question, and one is just a date uh, that you. Why don't we take the multiplication first? Yes. Is that okay? I'll do the multiplication first, and then you can ask the date. Okay. Okay. The third one. Okay. Let me write it down for you. Could you just tell me how many digits it is? Uh, so that I can sort of program my mind, you see? How many digits by how many digits? They're both eight digits. Eight digit numbers? Yes. Okay, fine. I'll look at it once it is written down. Okay, now. <coughs> The question is 2, 4, 5, 9, 3, 7, 2, 8, multiplied by 3, 8, 7, 2, 2, 1, 3, 6. Now tell me, Ayas, you want me to give you the answer from this side to this side or this side to this side? Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't think I want the answer. <laughs> what a choice. Well, okay, go tell me, go backwards. On. I think let Chandrasekhar decide. Chandrasekhar, do you want the answer from this side to this side or this side to this side? No, we'll keep the uh, unconventional method later on. Let's uh -huh. go the conventional route first. This way, you mean? Yeah, we have enough problem digesting the whole <laughs> multiplication. No, no, this way? Yeah. This way? Uh, why don't we do it differently? What about, what about the panel? Would you prefer the other way? No, we, we should start from the left. From oh, this way, yes. right? Yes. Okay. okay, I got right. the answer already. Okay. The answer is 9, 5, 2, 3, 2, 1, um, uh, 6, 8, 0, 3, 6, 3, 0, 0, 8. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't believe if that was right. Is that right. correct? <laughs> it's exactly correct. It's Absolutely right correct? Yeah. Thank right you. Right on the pen. I, I, geez, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure it's even one digit is not wrong there? Uh -huh. It's perfectly correct. So. I asked, when you prepared this, what was the procedures? You know, how, how many minutes did it take for you to figure this out, by the way? Uh, the it question? took me three minutes with the aid of a calculator. Three minutes with the aid of a calculator? Yeah. And, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure Stan or uh, Liz would be able to tell us. I think you did it, you know, probably, you know, what about the crew here can tell us. Was it about 30 seconds that she was able to do it? Uh, yes. Approximately 30. Incredible. Again, mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. You know, Baj Bedi is the uh, president of Copyright Business Systems, you know, which is a leading computer firm. I see. And he's yeah. a computer whiz himself. He has devised uh, one of the most popular computer programs here in Canada called, uh, you know, uh, busy balance and all that. Now, Baj, you have a complicated question for her, right? Well, I have a complicated and a very Just, practical uh, one as well. Yes. I have been working for other people. All of a sudden, I'm on my own now. The question is if somebody gives me a choice that you will be given $5,000 a month or we give you a penny on an incremental basis. A penny or a cent? The day, a cent. A cent. A cent on the first day, a two on the second day, four on the following, eight, and 16, doubling it up on that basis. Now my question is, like, somebody hires me in the month of April. I didn't take $5,000 lump sum. Uh. I went this route, that they go on an incremental basis for me. Yeah. How much will I make oh. in the month of April? Oh, I see. You mean, which would be better? Whether to be take $5,000 a month? Precisely. Uh, or one cent the first day, mm -hmm. two cents the second day. You see, 
uh, I don't know if you all caught what he said. He said April. You see, that's very important. That's the key thing as far as I'm concerned, because that means 30 days. It's not 31 days. It's not 28 days. It's not 29 days. It's the month of April. So in 30 days time, how much total you will have? Do you want the answer in rupees, sterling pounds, Canadian dollars or American dollars? Give me a liras. You know, liras. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not familiar with liras. <laughs> Give me rupees. That's rupees. Yeah. No, I think no, I'll do it in Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars for that. Because the answer is the same. Okay. Whether it is sterling sure. pounds, rupees, okay. or anything. The answer is mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. zero, mm -hmm. seven, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. seven, four, one, eight dollars, twenty-three cents. Would you believe that I? One, I say twenty-three, not right. thirty-three. Right, right. Yeah, twenty-three. Okay. Yes. What's the answer? Uh, is Would that you believe that before I came on the, to the show, I have a, a program which allows me to do these computations on incremental basis, on decreasing basis. I, I did that. It's just on the penny. Oh, Would you read out your incredible. answer now? That is incredible. Would you, Would you read out your answer? Yes. One zero seven three seven four one eight dollars twenty three pennies. I can't believe it. I just wasted my one year of my time to develop a program. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, we wanted to now see a bit of uh, a demonstration with respect to the calendar and, and the dates during the year 1989. Shall we go for it? Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sean, why don't you start the get the ball rolling? Uh, Tell me a day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh, Saturdays. Wednesday, yes. Give us all the Saturdays, the dates of the Saturdays. All the Saturdays this year? Yeah, from okay. January. I want from January 1st to December 31st. Oh, great. Fine. Uh, the first Saturday in January is already finished. Okay. Saturday in January is 7 14 21 28. February, Saturday falls on 4 11 18 25. March, Saturday falls on 4 11 18 25. April, Saturday falls on 1st, 8, 15, 22nd, 29. May, Saturday falls on 6, 13, 28, 27. June, Saturday falls on 3, 10, 17, 24. July, Saturday falls on 1st, 8, 15, 22nd, 29. August, Saturday falls on 5, 12, 19, 26. September, Saturday falls on 2nd, 9, 16, 23, 30th. October, Saturday falls on 7, 14, 21, 28. November, Saturday falls on 4, 11, 18, 25. December Saturday falls on 2nd and 16th. Holy smokes. That's Very good. incredible. Marvelous. I wouldn't even be able to clarify whether that was right or wrong, but I, <laughs> I could because I couldn't see the monitor when this was going on. And you were flipping it so fast, Baj. I was close by and my <laughs> arm is hurting now because I was flipping <laughs> faster than she was saying, you know. But at the same time... But I guess we have to clarify to the viewers, for the benefit of viewers, because it, when I was watching partly the monitor, it looked as though we don't want somebody to think that you were able to see our monitor no. and then see the numbers, right? No, I was so your best bet is, if you can stand a little forward, let's do yes. it once more. Maybe one of the panelists can ask you the same question again some Would other day. Would you like day. me to stand here? Wherever. Huh? Huh. And then uh, why, don't the why can't the panel ask another set of days maybe? What about Roger? Yes. Um, Roger, okay. you okay. Me a day. I'll do it backwards, December to January. How about that? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Is it okay? Yes. Um, how about Thursday? Is that or the day you plan to get married or something? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I thought, I'm waiting for you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, Thursday. All the Thursdays, December to January. Yes, backwards. Okay? December Thursday, 7 14, 21 28. November Thursday, 2nd 9 16, 23 30th. October Thursday, 5 12 19 26. September Thursday, 7 14, 21 28. August Thursday, 3 10 17, 24 31st. July Thursday, 6 13, 28 27th. June Thursday, 1st 8 15, 22nd 29th. May Thursday, 4 11 18 25. April Thursday, 6 13, 28 27th. March Thursday, 2nd 9 16, 23 30th. February Thursday, 2nd 9 16, 23rd. January Thursday, 5 12 19 26. Oh my God! Do you mind if I ask you? You, you, that was interesting because even though you're going backwards, you gave the dates of the month going forwards. Each month you gave, yes. you, gave you know, you went uh, five, twelve, nineteen, twenty-six. That's interesting. So even though you're going backwards, yes. you're still thinking I forwards. I go backwards in, and forwards. <laughs> yes, apparently. No, I have, I have the hardest job. You know, I never gone from. I don't know what the day will be in December, nineteen eighty-nine. You know. Yes. And I was told to start from there and end up where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> I had the most amazing part yeah. to accomplish that. Again, I'll huh? do one more item in this. Okay. Uh, how about giving me a date? Okay. Yes. Um, October. No, just a date. Just I'll a tell date. you all the oh, dates. Just a date? date? Okay. Huh. Uh, the 4th, 
4th. I'll tell you all the days on the 4th, January to December now. Okay. 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 January 4th, Wednesday, February 4th, Saturday, March 4th, Saturday, April 4th, Tuesday, May 4th, Thursday, June 4th, Sunday, July 4th, Tuesday, August 4th, Friday, September 4th, Monday, October 4th, Wednesday, November 4th, Saturday, December 4th, Monday. <laughs> I Last item I'll do from backwards. Would Back. you like to give a date? Can you do the 13th? 13th, why not? December 13th, Wednesday, November 13th, uh, Monday, uh, October 13th, Friday, September 13th, Wednesday, August 13th, Sunday, July 13th, Thursday, uh, June 13th, Tuesday, May 13th, Saturday, April 13th, Thursday, March 13th, Monday, February 13th, Monday, January 13th, Friday. Well, well, let's start with the Friday the 13th, you know, we, 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 before going any further. We had yes, really, really yeah. impressed. I'm sorry. Quick reaction. What do you think of Shakuntala Devi, Roger? Well, absolutely amazing. The only re relationship I can think of between Shakuntala is the uh, very well-known Indian uh, mathematician Ramanujan, who, who died about 30 or 40 years ago, who was world famous. And he's the only other person I can think of who has the same or similar talents. Uh, just so I'm just amazed. That's all. Uh, I asked, what's your feeling? Um, well, it's uh, very um, awe-inspiring. It's like the calculations that she makes are not uh, visually conceivable. And Christopher? I think it's amazing, too. I've grown up with computers, and she seems to even beat those. It's been an honor. Thank you, Sean.